So good afternoon and thank you. And look, I just want to um, kick off with uh, a quote which I think many of you would recognise, and it actually comes from a fellow called John Wanaker, who was actually one of the people who kicked off department stores in the United States. And, and his quote was that, uh, I know that half of the money that I spend on advertising is wasted. The problem is I just don't know which half. And that was back in the 1800s. And pretty much the world's advertising market ran that way for about 150 years until a couple of decades ago. And we had a couple of very interesting technology platforms come to us. And so now companies and businesses, imagine you own a business and you want to connect with your end customer and you want to target that advertising uh, as well as possible to that person's interests and match the products that you sell to that individual. Those platforms exist now. And I'm sure that many of you are familiar with both Google and Facebook. I'll be talking to Facebook in particular. And if I think about some of my own experiences over the last little while, um, going through my Facebook news feed, I've come across um, advertising for gym gear, uh, which was differentiated, and shortly thereafter, I had put in front of me um, some sustainable footwear made of New Zealand wool. Uh, and guess what I did for both of those? I actually clicked on both. I ended up buying both of those things. This is from two businesses, two brands I'd never heard of before pitching to me a quality product that I ended up purchasing. And I would not have known about these companies' existence before. So these guys are actually transforming the way that merchants are connecting with the end customer, you and I. The size of these companies is breathtaking, just utterly breathtaking. So Facebook has 2.4 billion users on a monthly basis, and two-thirds of those connect with Facebook every day. That's 1.4 billion, which is an extraordinary number. And you just have to ask yourself, well, why is that? Why, why is it just that a handful of social media platforms actually seem to hoover up the majority of the market? And quite simply, it comes down to network effects. It's the way that the ASX work. It's the way that the payment networks work, and it's certainly what underpins the economic moat, the strength within these businesses. And the fact of the matter is, is that I, Dom Giuliano, want to connect with my friends and relatives and colleagues on one platform. I don't want to be posting news about myself and pictures on 10 different platforms. And guess what? All my colleagues, relatives and friends are wanting to do exactly the same thing. And it's extraordinarily painful to move those relationships to other platforms. So these guys have incredible stickiness. By the way, Facebook also happens to own Instagram. Very interesting business. There's 80 million businesses which have Facebook pages. Currently, only 6 million of them are advertising. That sounds like a path to growth to me. Now, before I get on to these wonderful sets of numbers, it is worth acknowledging the risks that face Facebook. And we all know about it. The last 12 months, Facebook has acknowledged its naivety and has also acknowledged the fact that it underestimated the way that its platform could be gamed and manipulated and that it did not sufficiently respect um, the privacy, the data privacy. And if, indeed, if you think about the three key risks which are facing, we think, are facing Facebook, it's one, it's weaponizing the data. It's essentially what the Russians did in terms of interfering with the US election. Two, it's the respecting of data privacy. So think about Cambridge Analytica and the fact that quite often um, uh, the end user doesn't know how their data is being used and quite often permissions um, aren't being given in an appropriate fashion. And the last one is actually taxation. And the European Union is imposing tax on a range of technology companies and, and it's also being hit. So you've got to acknowledge those three risks, but they are and can be overcome. Facebook is spending billions upon billions of dollars hiring thousands and thousands of, of people to ensure that the risks that I've just talked about 
are reduced materially going forwards. Now, notwithstanding these risks which I've just talked about, which are really quite serious, this company reported a couple of weeks ago their quarterly results, and have a look at the numbers on this slide, they grew revenues by 50% on the last year. And this is a company which has been growing at that kind of rate now for over a decade. They grew revenues by over 50%. And together with that, they were actually able to grow net income and earnings by, per share by over 60%, notwithstanding their operating costs going up by 40%. So some extraordinary numbers in terms of growth that they've achieved. Now, again, to give you a sense of the growth profile of this company over the coming decades, uh, this game is not over, not, long, not by a long shot. They currently have 10% of advertising market share outside of China, and we certainly expect them to double that over the next decade or so. How much do you pay for this? How, do you, how much do you actually pay for this growth profile? Well, I hope you're salivating with one of those multiples up there. So a company that's just grown EPS by over 60%, and we certainly expect very strong growth over coming years, is trading at under 20 times earnings. You can buy the index in uh, the S&P or even MSCI World global indices and very large indices at about 16, 17 times earnings, which have nothing like the growth profile of this company. So some very attractive growth metrics. But it gets even better than that, because everyone loves a freebie. I'm going to chuck a freebie on the page for you. And that is the embedded optionality within these businesses. So not only does Facebook own the Facebook news feed, not only does it own Instagram, it also owns Facebook Messenger, and it also happens to own WhatsApp. There's 100 billion messages being sent every day on WhatsApp and Messenger, and Facebook hasn't even started monetizing them. And they have said to the market that they are going to use those platforms to connect businesses back with the consumer and allow transactions to be undertaken on those platforms. I don't think the value of that is being captured on 20 times, 20 times earnings. So a very, very attractive growth profile yet to come that is not in the price. And notwithstanding the size of the business, we certainly expect that it will be able to get much, much larger than it is now. Thank you.